I see. So you want to rescue Vlad the Third, correct? Oh, the great hero of Romania, Lord Vlad. Um, I believe he also has a name. Uh, <clears throat> I believe he also has a name of a staking or the one that um, what's the word? Impales. I believe he's the type that would understand or... I, I believe he's the type that would understand us if we were to negotiate or conversate. Yes, he's a very calm king. Just don't mention anything about Dracula or anything like vampire. And you have no problem. Hmm. He definitely used moves and abilities for... Oh, uh, yeah. He definitely used an abilities like a dead apostle, for sure. Thoughts? It says, it will be quite impossible now to switch, my dear. Because you will be instantly found out and your, uh, yeah, your key and your presence will be completely different. Therefore, you will blow our entire cover. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I know. But anyway, that is a very important news as well. And we cannot leave that, uh, yeah, a person such as great like that there. After all, the realm of the royalty, the Kingsley Road needs more manpower, more strength, and on top of that, knowledge and wisdom. Mm. Certainly. What you're trying to say is that we need someone that has a capability and a strategical, uh, yeah, strategical mindset in order to fight a decent war, correct? Correct. It says, I have, you know, done my very best here and there. Yeah, I, uh, I too have created some schemes and... Uh, yeah, schemes and other plans uh, prepared. And because of this, I was able to create this... Um, muddy stalemate like circumstances but i believe my job is done from here on out if they were to go any further i believe there's no way for us to be victor uh find any uh future in us in victory then i sincerely agree that we should go on a rescue mission to help out lord i uh, count vlad the third and if uh, if possible, heal him to a decent degree. May I ask that you leave that to us in this case? <sighs> Meaning... You're trying to find a very high, strong, noble phantasm uh, um, niche that will allow to revive the strength. Uh, yeah, the battle strength of Vlad III, its healing residence and its power. You have and possess such things, correct? Um, I will say it's... I, I would not say the term of no problem. To be perfectly honest with you, sir, this will be quite the gamble. G gamble? Uh, g g gambling's wrong, okay? Uh, yes, I agree with that man. I remember a mage that tried to infuse himself. Create this healing factors and died. I remember that very well. Um, 
Is this true? Oh, yes. I forgot. You, Mash Cure Light, is only a girl that was in Cutadia boxed in, so you don't have the slightest clue. Hmm. When it comes to mages, most of them are very greedy, after all, and prideful. They will try to make it, uh, yeah, they will make, they will try to bend everything and anything they can to their own will or desire. Their thought process or their logical thinking sways higher into their own devotion or into their perspective and be more prideful. Of course, the higher the ranks they become. I, I see. After all, mages are people that creates the impossible uh, possible from impossible, so... Mm. And with that logical reasoning added to this effect... Every gamble they would... Uh, yeah, whenever the terminology of gamble comes into play, they would always come to an assurance of that they will be the victor or be on top. Because with magic, cheating will not be allowed or cheating will not, uh, yeah, will not go un uh, unscathed. And at the same time, they will not miss an opportunity to do the opposite as well. Because in the very end, you can use that exact magic to not only observate anti-cheating, but cheat on top of it as well, you see. So, in technicality, isn't magic purely for just winning any gambles, if you think about it, correct? That is what the regular mage's thought process will be putting into. But, but it's still a gamble, correct? Correct. When there is no cheating, an official gambling, there's always a 50 chance for you to lose the, uh, to lose the coin toss up. Of course, there are mage that's going to, you know, win half the time, but Think about a, what would the mage's next step would be if they continue to win and win again. So, they would continue the same act over and over? Precisely, yes. It's quite mysterious, but they would have a very delusional thought process that they would win next time, even though it was still a 50-50. Damn. If an old man says it like that, sheesh, definitely has power to it. After all, it was a gamble that we didn't win. Uh, no, uh, I, I've won, as you can see. In, even in this circumstances, I'm still standing and breathing and alive. I believe Mr. Foe has commented on your words, Mr. Gorov, as very positive and given you a compliment. <laughs> Thank you, little furball. Um, yes, I'm assuming that person is the leader of Karadea. Um, is he really a leader? It seems that a very intriguing circumstances and um, explanation of terminology has quite diverted our conversation away from our objectives, but... Oh, sorry. Whenever it comes to gambling, our d new director can't shut the fuck up about it. It's a natural habit. I see. So he must have been a person who gambled everything and lost it. Poor dude. But with this, back to on topic. Gambling. Yes. 
However, our successful rate is 30% if we calculate this normally. It would fail regularly, meaning that we go there and nothing happens would be a 50%. A fatal mistake, a critical miss, meaning that we would confirm that its sync graph has been shattered or destroyed will be 20%. Katadea's master, Protag. What would you, oh, is this the, uh, interesting. It says, what will you do? The decisions will be in your hand. If you can, please help us out. Are you sure about that? Right now, currently, Vlad's got his own uh, yeah, self-conscious sealed over there, so he won't have a choice or argument in this matter, but... Because if I was Count Vlad, I think I would have done that. Or, if I'm Vlad, I would have probably hoped that that would happen. I see. I believe it's a wonderful decision. It's almost as if you understood the servant very nicely. Well done. Then, my dear. Uh, um, um, uh, um, huh? Did you not hear any of the conversation we just had? Let us go forward. We are on a mission. Uh, uh, go, going forward? Uh, uh, on a mission? Yes. Uh, it says it. It seems that Lord uh, yeah, Vlad. Uh, it seems that Lord Vlad has sealed his consciousness and has his Saint Graf stabled in one place. We are going there and eradicate anything that gets in the way. And in order to destroy the. Uh, in order to destroy the thing that is staking him, we will use our noble phantasm. Oh, oh, we will? So that means, Sancho, we're... We're going to bust out the... Uh, Valen... Variente Asarto Dedica a la Pudin Setsa. Exclamating out loud with my spear... Uh, my dear princess, I uh, I offer this young uh, great spear. That is the wrong one. Uh, what? I believe Count Vlad has staked his own uh, spear or impaled himself in order to not move. I believe with our weak noble phantasm... We will not be able to shatter its existence at all. Uh, wait, then, then, then why am I going there in the first place? That's because, wait, that's because? It's a secret. Uh, Sancho! I, I think she might be suited for being a little devil here. Um, uh, Mr. Caddock, perhaps you might have a headache due to the circumstances. N n no, I it's nothing. It says it seems that I think that I'm in the wrong because I guess if I think about it or if I think too much, I almost feel like thinking about this entire circumstances is quite foolish and it's dumb as a plan. So I got to calm down. <sighs> Breathe. Be cool. What can I do this and what can I do in this situation? 
I have to think for myself and not interject on this plan. Because that will be, for me, the best option and the best course of action that I can take for now. However, it seems that Holmes, he's still completely normal. Hmm. Don't stare at him too much. Don't stare at him unnecessarily. Only look and glance at him a minimal amount, only to just gaze and glance like a mage. Act normally. I feel like I'm acting normally around him, but... No. Mm. This is not good. I need to make sure that when Holmes is offline, whenever he's out of sight, I need to keep thinking that. And I need to make sure about... I, I need to make sure to uh, use this facade kept up and think more about it when I don't see him. The basic is risk. Uh, yeah, the basic of risk, uh, the risk avoidance. And after all, we're, uh, we're trying to outdo or think and outthink against a world-class detective. I shouldn't, uh, yeah, I shouldn't stand here thinking how I could try to read him or understand his exact movements. Uh, uh, uh. Mr. Cadonk? Um, I... I just felt something cold. Like... Almost as if some... Something cold got... Touched my back and... Hmm... An ice, you say? Maybe it's Caster's curse or something. Uh, ah, it's hot! Mr. Caddock, what is wrong? You okay there, buddy? You eat something wrong? What's wrong? Ah, uh, you know... I used to once boasted that uh, I ate a dragon's meat, but in the end it was just a lizard. Yes, I believe those stories were many told and many, many times you have misunderstood the circumstances. It's definitely in the story and it cannot be forgotten. Maybe they found a difficulty in putting jokes on food or uh, recipe uh, repose or something. No, it, it's not. It has nothing to do with food or cooking or ingesting. I'm satisfied with the food and I'm quite full. So what's wrong? What's making you feel this uneasy? Hey, don't try to... Yeah, don't try to wedge in and spread the conversation to everybody. It's nothing. It's nothing at all. So just don't talk about it. <laughs> it seems that if we were to continue this conversation, we might take some uh, minor damage or minor consequences will be circum uh, yeah, circumvened if we intervene too much. However, may I ask, Protag? Is there any doubt or takebacks on your decision? I see. Then it is that and it is decided. We should definitely go. Uh, yeah, we should definitely go and head over there as fast as we can. However, how are we going to fix this scenario? I believe if we were to leave this base and all of a sudden Emperor Carl were to disappear, it, sh it cannot happen or else it'll cause confusion and chaos. I'll be the, uh, you know, I'll replace him. Don't worry! 
I'll be pretty much lying if I say I'm not worried, but he actually does a better job than me. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful when we lack manpower? This, I feel like we're holding up a gigantic dam with just one finger and one finger would just collapse this entire infrastructure. I feel like. It's true. Shady, shady, shady. Shady, shady, shady. You know, moving quietly. Sneaky deaky. And with that, our escape was a success. This is, holy shit! Our... Our guard and... Our security system is pretty trash! Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Are you sure we weren't found out already? I believe we're fine. And even if it is, it has to conclude. Anyway, ah, uh, what a marvelous thought process. <laughs> it must be marvelous. After all, I won't be able to, I, I won't be able to follow or tag along to my husband or my dearies, uh, dearest's journey, after all. That's right. Me and Sancho makes the story of Don Quixote, after all. Well, let us head forward, shall we? It's time for us to go, my dear. Ugh, honestly, I'm tired. Wait, damn, Donkey. That's, uh, that's a quick for you. Are you alright? You want some water, though? Yes, here are some, uh, Fruit water. Now, have a drink here. Ah, uh, thank you kindly. Um, I do apologize when you are relax- Uh, yeah, you're having some relaxation time, but we have detected an enemy. Deary, we have an enemy. Oh, what? We got an enemy? Hmm. I feel a hundred percent stronger now that I've drinking some fruit ju- uh, fruit drink. Fruit ju- uh, fruit water. Now, Master of Cotterdale. I think it's time for me to show my- No. I, Don Qui- uh, Don Quixote de la Mancha's heroic style. Let us go. Let's head forward, Sancho. Um, yes. Then we will be your opponents then. My characters, they're, they're comical characters for sure. Our greatest victory! Hmm. Well, well. It is very powerful, surprisingly so. Hmm. Well, when it comes to Don Quixote, if you were to underestimate it, it does have a name almost, if not more popular, than King Arthur, depending on the location. No, just because of the, uh, yeah, just because of that, it should not give out such tremendous strength that we've been displayed in front of us. And on top of that, Don Quixote has many different episodes, and on and with that, uh, Don Quixote also portrays that there is a person that is not mystery. However, that person that portrays Don Quixote is a human above all. You would hear this person run into a windmill. Or they would get blown away by the Rocinante's 
Uh, yeah, they were, uh, they were blown away by the Roshinante's shenanigans. And whenever it has a lance, at one point in a 1v1 scenario, he has lost. Hey, make sure you add places that I've won too. Ah, yes, I do apologize. He won and lost some. In any case. Whenever it comes to a story, a fairy tale, or any talks about this person, there is a interesting expression that he cannot be a, uh, yeah, he cannot be a superhuman. He can only reside or exist as a normal human being, as the, uh, is the maximum requirement and the minimum requirement. So. Then that's the case. Is it maybe because he might be the realm king? Maybe the power of the... As the ruler of the realm, he might have a special power added to it. You are quite correct on that. It says, my dearest has unleashed and awakened its nightly powers that was sealed for a very long time. Is what I would like to say, but that's total lie. Because he has become a king, I believe he's gained an advantage, or how should I say, a blessing buff of sort. It's almost as if he now is backed up by the Holy Grail, in short terms. It says, oh my god, that's a... Uh, that's a very... Interesting blessing buff that, uh, you know, kind of, kind of grim. Mm, no, it's actually way beyond my imagination. This. This means that the other realms and other peeps, their levels are going to be much higher. And at the same time, they hold a holy grail too, right? Correct. It says they would make an ordinary person a hero. A hero that will be welcomed in Valhalla. And if it were to be given to a hero, they would become an epic. Uh, or, excuse me, it's um... It's a peasant to warrior, warrior to hero. Excuse me. If a heroic spirit has gained this power, I, I honestly cannot imagine what can it do. And the remaining realm kings are... Yes, I believe it's Constantine the 11th and Creamhild, correct? I believe in Creamhild, she will be, uh, yeah, she will be focused on her legends and riddled, engraved as a revenge-seeking demon. So, whenever it comes to combat capabilities, I believe she will be on the highest alert list. It says, uh, when it comes to Constantine, in a very awkward and very desperate certain in scenarios, this person was able to last and protected constantly the battle, uh, a hero in the battlefield that played the long defense. We cannot underestimate that person as well. And that end with me. Yes, a person who was in the boonie doing, uh, a person who was in the boonie doing some farmer work, aka an old man that was way out of retirement, and and, and a former knight, you know, historic, uh, historic knight, is, is is the setting here, is the setting that I want. Yes. After all, 
my dearest that dreams is the best. <laughs> right? Isn't that right? But, wait, is it all a dream? No, my dear, the current situation that we are in is clearly reality. Hey, we're almost there, but are you sure we can really do this? What do you think? Wait, can we actually pull this off? Um, yes, I think we can, my dear. Well, you've got the answer from the boss lady. Seems we can. See? I told you we can do it. They said they can do it, cat off, so we can do it. Haha. <laughs> I, I got you. Just I I understand what they said. Don't don't repeat them. It's but there's no you have no evidence to back that up. Hmm. A reason to trust their words and no evidence. Holmes, I beg of you. We're gonna be alright, right? This is gonna all end well? Um, yes. Miss, Ms. Mr. Mm. It's quite difficult. How should we call you? I believe Miss will be the right prone. Uh, uh, the right sentence to start with, Mr. Holmes. Ah, yes. Then Miss Sancho. Is it a noble phantasm? I believe. Is it an anti-army or? Uh, yeah, I would like to discuss about your noble phantasm. It doesn't look like it is an anti-army, but... Yes, you're quite correct. Ah, I see. A noble phantasm that would uh, nullify uh, Vlad, uh, Count Vlad's situation. The noble phantasm of Dom Quixote. Hmm. Hmm. I believe this is a perfect phrase to say, mum's the word, correct? Ah, uh, as unexpected, a wonderful gentleman coming from the, uh, yeah, the English Isles. But he'll probably figure it out very soon once we get there, though.